President Bola Tinubu expressed his keen interest in the role Siemens can play in modernizing and expanding Nigeria's railway network with the provision of ultra-modern trains and railways, which can be more than double the speed of existing 100 km per hour standard gauge system presently operating in Nigeria. President Tinubu drew the attention of the German leader to the need for his business community to focus their attention on value-addictive processing in Nigeria solid minerals, agricultural goods, or mobile production and other job creating subsectors of the economy we will fulfill our promises all obligations <laughs> all i'm here to thank the chancellor for his visit and putting together a compact with africa that gave us the opportunity of today. I'm looking forward to having you in Nigeria, investing more and getting the highest return on your investments. I assure you, you will do. The relationship that we seek is for all to remove all others to progress, to put Nigerian-German relationship on the first class seat of development and prosperity. He assured potential investors that Nigeria had moved beyond the restrictive policies and today capital could be moved in and out of the country freely, providing flexibility for investors. Now you can bring your money in and out as you wish. Easy in, easy out. If you have any problem, I have one of the most reliable teams that you can think of in Nigeria. I've mentioned a few of them here, and I'm accompanied by a few of them. We will answer all your questions. But I want to appeal to you, forget the past. My friend here said, no money, no hallelujah. <laughs> no investment, no development, no hallelujah. The two leaders of the largest economies in Africa and Europe, respectively, agreed to deepen collaboration on the utilization of advanced biometric system and border control technology to check irregular migration, even as the two leaders agreed that investment in labor-intensive industries will go a long way towards resolving the root causes of the problem. Praise Irabo reporting for BTV News.